The stock market crash led to a nationwide commercial bank failure, the Great Depression. The root cause, the Glass-Steagall Act does not address the root cause of this problem, the underwriters. Therefore, I stand in negation of this legislation. Now we'll take a look at how the GSA would not even reduce or prevent the crisis, then, then about how big banks are actually necessary, and lastly about how diversification in banks are a very important factor in the good economy. So Senators, please join me in the negation of this bill. Now to explain the reasons further, first, Alan Blinder, the Memorial Professor of Economics, argued that the mortgage underwriting standards were disgraceful, but they, they were broadcasted by banks and mortgage finance companies did not rely on any of the new GLB powers. The dishonest MBS were put together and marketed mainly by freestanding investment banks, not by the newly created banking security combinations. All in all, the main reason of the crash were the underwriters, and they were the pe they're the people who make the decisions for who gets the loan at, based on their credit history. Secondly, diversification doesn't hurt. It actually benefits the, big, the banks. When banks invest money into companies, they buy stocks and bonds. They have more choices and they diversify their investments and reduce their risks. It's like putting your eggs into a lot of baskets and reducing your risk of bankruptcy. And lastly, with so much money in global trade and companies with so many assets, of course, big banks with global reach to supply them with their financial needs. There has been research done by the Washington Post that there are no real economies of scale in banking above $100 billion in assets. In this new economy, larger scales bring more efficiency. And with more pro new and bigger projects being done, we need more money. And for this, we need more risk takers. And for this, we need more... Uh, banks, big banks. The main cause of this crisis were the underwriters, but the solution is not killing the person if they are sick to get rid of this problem. This, this is why I strongly urge you to negate the GSA. Thank you, and I'm now open to questions. Okay, that was two minutes, 24 questions. Senator, do you believe that we should allow the large banks to control our economy even when they take risks that can be catastrophic? Well, large banks do not control economy if, even if you give them enough power. Large, large banks are there to reduce... So, as I said in my speech, um, large banks are really helpful to... Um, <coughs> It requires banks with big uh, like global reach to supply them with their financial needs, and the globe, you need the big banks. Senator, you stated that combining commercial and investment banks would actually have more diversity, but wouldn't actually splitting up the two types of banks have more diversity mm -hmm. than combining them? What I mean by diversification is when you spread your money into bigger, like more banks, and this gives you more of the reasons to put your money into big banks and smaller banks, so your money is not put in one bank that you go bankrupt. And that's what we are saying. So that's yeah. what the Glass Steagall Act is doing. That it's trying to split that money into more banks. But this, okay, so so we're not giving extra power to the bigger banks. Big, big banks are not getting extra power when um, you, when the Glass-Steagall Act is not in play, big banks are not getting extra power. All right, thank you.